welcome back to a brand new video on the Voice of Football News. And today's biggest headlines are... Manchester City new signing Rodri has fired shots at Manchester United. Reason for Herrera's shock exit from Manchester United unveiled. Legendary player announces retirement. Possibly the worst kits of 2019 have been announced. As well as all the latest transfer news and gossip. Hello and welcome back to a brand new video on The Voice of Football News and today I'm bringing you the latest news and transfer gossip available from around the world but if you are new around here yourself please hit that subscribe button and also follow me on Twitter at TVOFOfficial which will be in the overlay above. Now without further ado let's get straight into the main stories today. And we start off today's biggest stories with Rodri signing for Manchester City for a reported fee of 62.8 million from Atletico Madrid. Now, the signing itself hasn't made the big news. It is the fact that Rodri's comments after joining Manchester City has caused a massive stir in the world of football. And he has fired shots at the fierce and local rivals in Manchester United. Since signing for Manchester City, he has gone on to say this. I talk with some of the guys back home and they tell me that the city of Manchester might be becoming more blue. And his comments have left Manchester United fans infuriated with the fact that, that he believes that Manchester is now blue rather than red, considering that Manchester United's history completely outweighs that of Manchester City. You know, United have won a lot of trophies in their history compared to Manchester City. And it's only recently that Man City have started winning trophies. But as a neutral, I absolutely love this. I love it when clubs fire shots at each other especially when they're rivals that is what football's about banter is flowing in football and we love it here at the voice of football our next biggest news story is the fact that Hander Herrera has moved from Manchester United to PSG, but the reasoning behind the move has finally been unveiled. Rumour has it that United were unwilling to match wage demands of £350,000 per week. PSG have no issue in paying this though, and that is why he moves to the French capital. Now, Ander Herrera is a very talented player. £350,000 a week though seems extraordinary, and I am glad that Manchester United and the club itself believe that obviously the club are bigger than a player. Just because a player demands 350000 a week doesn't mean they should pay him. Is Ander Herrera worth that sort of money a week? I don't think so. So I think United were in a great position to say no to him and let him move to the French capital in Paris Saint-Germain. And our next big news story coming out of the world of football is a legendary player, Arjen Robben, has finally announced his retirement after leaving Bayern Munich. At age 35, he has won plenty of trophies all around Europe. He's played for some of the biggest clubs, including Bayern Munich, Chelsea and Real Madrid. But at the age of 35, he has decided to hang up his boots. And it's a sad day for a player who scored 210 goals in 606 games. And I was a big fan of Arjen Robben, you know, I felt he left Chelsea way too soon, but he went on to Bayern Munich to win a lot of trophies, including the Champions League. So let's all give a round of applause to Arjen Robben. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic player in my generation. And our next news story is possibly one of the worst, if not the funniest, announcements of kits in English football this week. Now, Stevenage, who currently play in League 2, have announced a deal with Burger King to sponsor their shirts. And they've released a new home and away kit. And it is a fucking awful. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to be a professional footballer. But if I was to go out in front of a few thousand fans and play in these kits every week, I'd be pretty embarrassed. You know, I'm sure whoever designed these kits needs sacking. They need someone here. Maybe employ me. I could do a better kit version than these Burger King awful, atrocious Stevenish kits that they've actually got. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you think of Stevenish new home and away kit. Now let's get into the latest transfer news and gossip in the world of football. Buffon has rejected Premier League offers to return back to Juventus. Real Madrid are potentially preparing a deal for Pogba involving a Bale, Isco or Cruz plus money swap deal. Uh, Marcelo is being linked with Arsenal after telling Real Madrid he wants out. Phil Jagielka has returned to Sheffield United after 12 years away from them. And Nasri is closing in on a move to Anderlecht. 
And that covers the news today. If you guys did like the video, then please hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. If you have any news stories that I don't cover or haven't covered or anything exclusive, please tweet me at TVOF Official and I'll be sure to cover that and give you a mention for your news stories. Just tweet me some funny, some good news stories that I can cover in the football news. And I'll see you guys in the next video.